One of the most frequently asked questions is what are the best meals or foods for weight loss, okay? And while there aren't actually particular meals or foods that are best for weight loss, there are definitely some which are better than others to make weight loss easy, okay? So I thought I would include those, the top like four or five meals that actually got me shredded in this video, along with bringing you along the journey and giving you some diet tips along the way, little hacks according to the science, okay? So yes, if you haven't already, apart from these four or five recipes, go click the link down below and get access to 200 more high volume recipes that will completely change your life, the way you see food, get shredded and just, yes, make gains. So without further ado, let's get started with the video and go into the first diet hack. And when I say diet hacks, I don't mean the typical ones like eat your fruits, your veggies, your high volume foods, load up on water and diet sodas. I'm talking like some special ones according to the literature that you probably haven't heard before. So the first one is going to be to load up on chewing gum, okay? So loads of different flavors. So there's like the bubble gum one, just the spearmint or the peppermint. Comment down below what your favorite flavor is. That's right, chewing gum, okay? I know a few of you might actually say it promotes hunger, but there is a large amount of literature out there actually showing it helps suppress hunger. So Mary in 2012 actually showed that chewing gum for at least 45 minutes significantly suppressed rated hunger, appetite, and cravings for snacks and promoted fullness. So you can see in the graph, especially at time point number four, the ratings of fullness are far, far greater in the no gum group compared to the gum group. So yes, that is pro tip number one. Give it a go and you might be a responder. Okay, but anyway, here we go. The first meal that changed my life or helped me get shredded has to be the burrito bowl of peace the size of your head. Again, this is like the staple chipotle bowl. This is only used for the big salad bowls because it's the only one big enough, okay? But yes, you've seen it literally integrated into all of my raw full days of eating. Literally only like 500 to 600 calories. Takes probably a solid 40 minutes to eat. I mean, you will feel full, guaranteed after that. And if I can, I will literally implement it like once a day. I'm always a huge advocate of just loading up on a big ass salad if hunger is an issue. So that is the first game changer meal. And I've been having literally like daily for years years okay it's super adaptable too you can use different meats veggies and all that jazz so yes meal number one and I thought I would include this in the video but we're in the home gym an absolute kit but we have a new addition what do you think it's gonna be oh we're going full-on crossfit style we have a timer clock there so we're gonna assemble it now in three two uno yes people something so small has made me so happy but yes we have the timer here pretty much for like conditioning but also to sort of time my rest times and just sort of keep me accountable and not snowflaking so you press start on the remote and off we go okay and this actually brings me on nicely to the next scientific diet hack in eating slowly okay as you can see in the graph by Andrade 2008 people who ate slower in their study consumed 579 calories compared to those who ate fast who ate 645 and also despite a higher energy intake so they ate more the fast Last group still showed significantly lower satiety ratings and a higher hunger ratings after the meal. So the trick's gonna be to buy one of these and time your meal. Not serious, sort of serious, but just be mindful on how fast you're eating. Usually try to take like 15 minutes or so because that is how long it takes for the mechanoreceptors of the brain, no, of the stomach, to lead the signal to your brain to tell you that you're full. So that is the next little diet hack of the day. Now let's move on to the next meal that got me shredded. And that's gonna involve some of these, actually a lot of these. I swear I must literally go through like two bags, two kilos like a week, but yes, the oat cake of peace, literally been a staple in my diet for God knows how long. I remember just ages ago, I came up with it. And ever since I've just been perfecting the amount of volume you can get. Pair it with like fruits, yogurt, jelly. You've seen me integrate it, okay? That has been another game changer meal that you have to integrate into your diet, you have to try it out. I mean, at least once. And I know it might sound strange, but when it comes to oats, all are not created equal, okay? So the Odlums ones are good, and the Flathavans ones, these Jumbo ones, they're no good, but the Jumbo ones in Lidl are good in terms of adding volume. And if you like creamy style oats, the organic ones are good, but they're pretty damn pricey. No one's gonna pay 275 when you can pay like one euro. And another benefit, of course, is seeing as the meal is literally so big, there is no other option but to eat out of bowls the size of your head. So we are here with Papa Murray. And firstly, these were the oats from Lidl that I was talking about that actually fluff up nicely. And secondly, we do actually have an 
He's sipping on a beer. We do have an oat cake of peace, and I wasn't joking when I was saying that it's literally the size of your head this far. And Dad, okay, I haven't asked him this question. If there were like three or four meals that would sum me up, what would they be? <laughs> uh, oats. Yeah. Salads. <laughs> yeah. Size of your head. Yeah. <laughs> Pie, what do you call it? The pie in the oven? <laughs> Sweet potato <laughs> pie. Uh, See, and one more? Ice cream. Ice cream, okay. <laughs> that might be included in the next video as there are other actual meals. If you want me to do another video with like five more meals that got me shredded and like more diet tips, then let me know. But actually speaking of bows the size of your head, that brings us on to the next diet hack. And that is gonna stay on the topic of bowls the size of your head in that plate size actually plays a role in how much you eat. So you see a big plate, you wanna actually substitute that with a small one, but not only plate size, but cutlery size too, okay? So you see the spoon, this really isn't good enough. Whereas this one, now we're talking literally any meal would take probably about 40 minutes with this type of spoon, so yes. You might not have thought it, but sitting down with a small spoon and a small plate and just Nibbling as you go is actually backed by the literature. So in terms of research, you can see one sick 2005 showed that when presented with a large bowl, participants consumed 31% more ice cream than with a smaller one, okay? And to add to this, when eaten with a larger spoon, further increased how much they ate by 14.5%, concluding that those interested in losing weight should use smaller bowls and spoons, while those needing to gain weight should be encouraged to use larger ones. So this is gonna be a game changer tip. Get nibbling with your tiniest spoon you can find, okay? So that is that. Now let's move on to the next meal that got me shredded. Oh my God, this ball! And I would actually consider this one more as a snack, okay? But sugar-free Jello and Skyr yogurt, okay? Literally, I would remember studying up here, okay? And I would just be like, oh my God, I am so hungry, but I have to stick to my macros. What can I have? My next meal isn't for like another one or two hours. So yes, this whole tub of jelly is like 91 calories. And then add that with like a serving of like Skyr or something. This is super thick, so it sort of coagulates and sits in the stomach, like a perfect, Sort of snack to keep you full so that is an absolute game changer not only as like a snack itself but you've seen i've implemented jelly with other meals and also sky like the sweet potato pie and the oat cake of peas and all that type of stuff so yes that is going to be that now let's move on to the next diet hack backed by science and that is going to involve some whey protein okay and this is actually quite an interesting study okay so essentially akavan 2010 gave people a range of different protein amounts from 10 to 40 grams before going absolutely beast mode on a buffet of pizza ab libitum intake okay showing the 40 gram group to consume 837 calories you can see that in the table but the control group who had no protein shake beforehand actually ate 1142 so a lot more than the guys who drank protein beforehand thus concluding that whey protein consumed before a meal might help reduce food intake. So yes, if you're on like holiday or whatever and about to go absolutely ham on some pizza or like croissants or whatever, oh my God, what I would give for like a buffet. <laughs> no, we're not getting there. Then maybe just sip on a protein shake beforehand and you might subconsciously eat less. So that is the next little diet hack. Okay, now let's move on to the next meal that has got me shredded. And that is of course gonna be my cereal and Halo Top macro capper of peace. I know you're probably saying, Scott, that's not high volume at all. Yes, okay, but we've banked all the high volume meals and this meal has literally allowed me to stay on track, binge free, okay, because I don't get any cravings and that is important in itself, okay, not just the actual volume of a meal. So yes, after I've banked all the healthy food, knowing that I have this to look forward to, just help me stick to my diet. But even then there are some sort of cereal hacks. So the most voluminous cereals I always get asked are Cheerios, Cocoa Pops, Wheatos, the cookie crisp uh, golden nuggets and the last one being rice krispies any puffed rice is pretty good but i thought i would take it up a notch and actually put it into perspective and show you visually okay how much volume you can get from these compared to other types but before we do we are <laughs> we are here with mama murray and i thought i would take the opportunity to do the same thing as dad okay so here we go again i haven't told her the question if there were like three or four meals that sum me up as a human what would they be Meals or like yeah, foods, meals, whatever. Sweet potato pie. <laughs> yeah. Chipotle bowl. <laughs> yeah. And porridge. And there we go. Uh, and anything else? Um, jelly. Oh <laughs> yes. 
Ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> that proves that these meals are literally like a staple in my diet. So let's get to this experiment. Okay, so here we go. We have an array of cereals, the ones I have at home. So we have Rice Krispies, Cookie Crisps, Wheatos and Cheerios. And then we have Dad's Granola and some of the milk chocolate pillows. So what we're gonna do is weigh out 100 grams of each of them in three, two, one. And boom, there we go. So the bowls are pretty much all the same size and we have a clear winner in the Rice Krispies and Cheerios. But the Cookie Crisp and the Weedos are also pretty voluminous compared to this. Look at that little measly serving. Again, 100 grams and 100 grams. Dad loves this stuff. I don't know why he has that. So yes, those are key volume cereal hacks. I always get asked which ones are like my favorite. I would have to say all of these, maybe not the Rice Krispies, but they do add sort of volume if you mix and match them. So yes, that is that. Now let's move on to the next diet tip of the day. And you've probably sort of heard of this one before, but caffeine, okay? You've probably heard that it helps suppress appetite, but what you might not know is that there's a huge meta-analysis out there literally showing that, like, there's a clear positive linear relationship between the amount of caffeine someone drinks and overall 24-hour energy expenditure. So literally over the course of the whole day, you burn more calories just from adding, like, caffeine to your day. And of course, if you're not adding white chocolate flavor drops to your caffeine or to your coffee, you are missing out. So yeah, Yes, that is the last actually probably little diet hack I'm gonna go over in this video. Again, let me know if you want a sequel to this video, but okay, we have hinted on it uh, before in this video. Let's get on to the final meal that got me shredded. Yes, people, that's right. Did you guess it? Oh, geez, well, no, the sweet potato pie. Actually, in this case, it's the poverty pie from the recipe book. Of course, it fluffs up nicely and it's been a staple in my diet for literally like years. Again, topped with a skinny syrup or melon or jelly or whatever. An absolute game changer recipe. So that is the last meal. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> That was not good, guys. It felt so much harder than that, but it was quite a whopper. Again, spot the dry patch. We're doing quite well. That's annoying me, but the hand is starting to shake. But yes, so if none of those diet tips work, none of those meals work, you pick up my recipe book and none of those work, still pick it up though, then I guess you can always resort to just moving more and working out harder than last time. Oh my god, okay, but that is gonna be the end of the video. We smashed that out. Now it's time to relax, okay? So yes, let me know if you want a sequel to this video with maybe like three or four more meals that got me shredded and then more diet tips because there are more scientific little diet hacks, which I could easily go into, but that is that. Hopefully you gained some sort of value from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you all have a good day.